Hello. Today I want to go over things you should be doing every day when you log in. I know there's still a lot of people that are like, oh, I log in, I spend my resin, and then I log out. For those newer players that are still learning the game, your resin up here in the upper right hand corner is used to complete domains, world bosses, etc. You probably know that by now. So when that's gone, what do you do? Well, there's a lot to do. I play for a few hours a day, especially live on stream, doing things. There's a lot of things I do every day. So should you. Number one, it's kind of the most, most common sense thing. You have to unlock it first. I can't remember if it's it's been it's been months. I think it's AR sixteen or thirteen. You unlock your daily commission. So then you get daily quests. Every day you have four quick simple quests that give you adventure rank, money, friendship, primo gems, um, and other other XP items, weapon XP and such, right? You get those done, you go back to the city. Either city doesn't matter. Monster or Lee you. Go to your adventure headquarters, turn them in, and they give you a bigger bundle. So there right there is 60 Primo Gems. Okay. 60. 40 plus 20 is 60. And a lot of adventure rank HP. HP, XP. Number one. Get those done. Number two, spend your resin. You never want your resin capped. Your resin equates to items. XP, talent material, gold, sorry, Mora, uh, hero XP, but the most important thing is that is literally tied to your adventure rank XP. No matter what you do in the game, it's, it's an even equation to how much resin you spend equals how much adventure rank XP you have. So if you're not using it and it's capped at 160, it's not growing, you're literally not growing. So you want to be spending that. If you know you're not going to be online for a couple days, you can turn. There is a small prereq, and I can't remember what it is. You have to learn the ability, and I don't remember where you go. It's something in Mondstadt. It had to do with 1.1. Forgive me. I can't remember. If you're above Adventure Egg 20, which you probably should be by now, uh, you, you most likely already have it. I can't remember what it is. It has to do with the, I don't think it has to do with the rep, but it has to do with Mondstadt. There's a quest... If you're brand new, you're, you're like AR5, this really doesn't concern you. Just do your missions. Get up there. Get past AR16. Get to AR20. When you get to AR20, really everything starts to... I mean, everything really does open up at like AR20 and above. So, if you're looking for things to do and you're not AR20, I don't understand. You have lots to do. But condensed resin, you can make up to three of them. They cost 40 resin, and then you can turn them into condensed. So there's... 4, 8, 120 resin. If you're not going to be online for a little bit, or you don't know what you want to do, or you want to save for something coming out the next day, you can turn 120 of your resin into condensed, freeing up 120 to then grow again to 160. Okay? So, always check your resin every day. Spend your resin. Do something with it. Next up, when you log in, check events, especially if you don't play every day. Find out what's going on. Every day something happens. I totally forgot there was this event. So I checked my thing, and now I have to go do this again for 60 more Primal Gems. Every day there's a new thing happening with this cool While It's Warm event. The gliding challenge was the same way. We've got uh, one and a half days left, and every day they popped a new thing. So go to your event tab. See what's going on. Seize the day login rewards. Check that out. Check your mail and notices. A lot of times you log in, you're going to have goodies. Okay? Claim your goodies. Now, once you've unlocked enough rep with the city, I think it's level 2 in both cities, Mondstadt and Liu, but you can get mining outcrop search. So the blacksmiths will tell you where to go to get bundles of, of ore and crystals and whatnot. Do that every day. Do that every day. Again, you have to be a certain rank, I believe, to unlock the reputation vendors. And you have to have a certain amount of the story stuff done. If you have a buttload of story quests, I don't know why you're watching this video. You have plenty of stuff to do. But both blacksmiths, when you talk to them, have a about Lee Yu's mining products. You click on that, and then it takes you to the map. I've already marked it for t today. But it marks... 
locations that have a buttload of ore and materials. You go farm that every day. When you get a bunch of the crystals, come back to the blacksmith. Both blacksmiths are tied together when it comes to your workflow. Unfortunately, you can't build a bunch of stuff from him and then go to the other one and have him do... They share the same workflow. But I say that because you can make 30 of these a day. It costs quite a bit of crystals, but you can make 30 a day. Why are you not stocking up on weapon XP? I forgot to claim mine. Then, on that note, remember to go claim it, because it takes a while. Tame. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and queue it up again. Boop, boop. While you're still in town, go back to your adventure thing every day that you log in and log out. They made a change in 1.1. Where your expedition people are not locked up. Where when the game came out or other games that have this kind of feature, when you send a hero out on an expedition to do something on its own, that character is locked and you can't play them. In 1.1, you can send them on expeditions and still play with them. Send them on expeditions! Okay? Do it every day. And since you can still play with them, might as well do the big boy reward, okay? There are three locations between both cities that offer Mora. I highly recommend doing those. It's going to give you 15,000 Mora. It's up to you what you want to pick. And then the other popular one, especially because you can build weapon XP every day, do the crystal one. Now, if you're a cook, these two down in Li Yu are worth it because there's not a lot of lotus heads in the world. And they take two days to respawn. But... I did a bunch of those for a while, but most people will tell you, do, do, and they'll tell you to do this. And that's, it's up to you. You can pick whatever you want. Hell, if you want carrots, do the carrot one. Just make sure you have people doing things. You can have up to five, and it's shared across both. It's not five in each zone. So do your three. Mora, I promise you, if you're swimming and you have five million Mora, you might, <sighs> you'll need it. You'll need it. Do the Mora, then the Crystals. Now, this isn't for free-to-play players, but if you've dropped, and I highly recommend this, it's a free game. If you can find $5 in your couch cushions, I highly recommend getting Blessing of the Welkin Moon. That's a hell of a lot of Primo Gems. This ultimately results in 2,700 Primo Gems. And then 300 of these, which you're just going to convert to Primo Gem. That's 3,000 Primo Gems. That's 18.75 wishes. Yeah. Five bucks for 13 days. The catch, it doesn't stack. So if you don't log in for five days, you've missed those five days. You have to log in every day. So while you're logging in every day, you might as well be doing some of the things I told you about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have time, remember, condensed resin. Condensed resin. Thank me later. Another thing... There's, again, there's a lot of things you have on your battle pass. Even if you're not paid for the, the premium version, you're going through the basic one. Doesn't matter. You still have stuff to do. You have four dailies every day. Unfortunately, there's really no reason to continue it after you max it out. Unfortunately, look at all this stuff that I can't get stuff for. But, Jesus Christ. You have dailies. Four quick dailies. Your four daily commissions are done. Logging in are done. If you're spending your resin, boom, there you go. You can mine 10 items. And then again, one last thing. If you are in a hurry and you don't have a lot of time to play and you're worried, you've got your three condensed and you're closing in on 160 resin, you can also come to the blacksmith just to get rid of it. And he has a... Mystic Enhancement Ore that will cost you 10 resin and 3 of this new crystal they added. The magical crystal chunk, right? This will give you it, Adventure Rank XP. And so if you know that you're not going to be around, you just need to burn it quickly without running dungeons. Just craft a bunch of these. Done. Then there's actually playing the game, okay? Those are just the things to like to do when you walk in. Um, you could go farm. You could do, I have a video that shows interactive maps. If you're looking for specific materials and you want to prep or plan ahead and go out and get a bunch of cooking materials, you can go, and essential materials, you can go farm those. If they're plants, you got to do it every two days. Um, unfortunately, not every day they respawn. You can come into your elite boss. This thing spawns every day during the reset. 
So we'll spend three hours, four hours during my stream killing all of these guys. This tells you where to go. Boom. You get Mora, you get Ascension Materials, and sometimes you can get Artifact Drops. So you can just travel the world killing all these guys. Plus, it's just fun to play the game, right? So here they give you items and people to go kill. Speaking of artifacts, I have another video you can look up that tells you an artifact run. So all these marks down here in the southern zone, these little exclamation mark flag banner thingies, are locations in the map that drop artifacts. You go investigate a crate and it gives you a, a gray or green artifact. Uh, it takes me about 25 minutes to run the whole loop. And that equates to about 50,000 50, Mora. Is it 30,000? 50,000. I can't remember. Because you can sell artifacts. Pro tip. Um, they have to be gray or green though. Not blue or purple. Maybe you can sell the blues. I can't remember. But you can't sell purples or legendaries. Epics or legendaries. But there's another thing to do. The other cool thing about that, besides just the Mora aspect, is if you do that nine days in a row and buy a couple couple artifacts from one of the towns, um, in nine days you can level an artifact, a legendary, from zero to 20. That's how much XP you're getting from doing that nine days in a row. Again, I have a video on that too. And then lastly, lastly, I mean, there's still more to do, but this will be, I'll leave you with one last, one last thing to do. Um, again, you're probably looking at like four, five, six hours of things to do now a day. Probably not six hours, more like three. But I have all these locations mapped as well, and I just put a video out about it. Free Adventure Rake XP. Basically, twice a day, There's it's more than that. If you're logging in once a day, you're not going to be doing this every 12 hours. Um, once a day when you log in, you can travel to these locations that I have marked, and I have a video covering all of this. There's the new unusual Hillicurl that was added in 1.1. He's the dude in a suit and tie. He's the little... Little munchkin, he's got white hair, he's got a suitcase, little businessman guy, he throws primo gems at you. You kill him, he gives you cabbage. Woo! But you get 18 adventure rank XP every time you kill him. You can do it twice. You have to go find him, and he spawns randomly. So I typically start at the top and I work my way down. Let's say I check out that spot, then I check out this spot, then I check out this spot, then this spot down over here, and I kill him, right? Well, I can keep, some people forget, I can keep searching and I might not find him because he might spawn a second time back up somewhere I've already been at. So you have to make sure you remember where you were, where you've been, and then you continue to do the loop. If you're lucky, you can find him sooner. I've had a couple days where I have to go through all the locations. Fun. Fun. But there's another thing to do. It's basically almost 40 free adventure rank XP every day. You can also log into your friends' worlds and do it again. And again. And again. Rumor has it you can only do it 10 times a day. Or kill him 10 times a day. I have not myth busted this yet, but rumor has it. So there you go. There's there's a good chunk of things to do. There's a good chunk of things to do. There's always events happening. There's always things to do. We've got more stuff coming in like 10 days. A lot more stuff coming. New zone, new good new goodies. Put a video out on the 1.2 update dev live stream recap if you're curious. Anyway. Anyway. I stream daily over on Twitch, by the way. At twitch.tv slash slaggummy between the late night hours of 8 p.m. to about 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, West Coast United States. You can follow me on Twitter, at slaggummy, for news updates and goofiness. We have a Discord down in the description below. Oh, speaking of description, there's a ton of other links down there. We got Genshin video links. We have fun links, like a wish simulator. You want to wish without spending money? It doesn't affect your gameplay, but if you've got that, that addictive personality, feel free. It's down there. Interactive maps are down there. Databases are down there. Websites are down there. Oh, and more importantly, my videos are down there. I'm getting enough videos now that I'm going to start segregating them out so they're easier to find. Like, we'll have the, the Wish videos separate. We'll have Guides separate. Gameplay separate. You know, so it's just a little bit easier. Speaking of, there should be a playlist over here somewhere. So you don't have to search through all my other videos on YouTube. See? I care about you. Anyways, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.